name is Shelby Vaughn and I'm the host of the Innovator Series brought to you by Technology for Obama and I'm here with Fred Kasravi who is the managing partner of Incept LLC, has founded over 12 companies and is responsible as either author or co-author over 100 patents. So Fred, it's a pleasure and honor to be with you. It's great to be here. Thank you. So I'm so you know clearly you've been a almost an innovation an innovation machine on your own and I'm I'm curious how you think about innovation in terms of what makes some companies innovators and why some companies simply can't innovate. Um, I think uh, one of the key things for me has been uh, that you got to empower people to be innovators, basically, to, to think out of the box. Uh, if you have uh, a confining environment with, with too many limitations and restrictions, basically, of culture and policies and uh, uh, organizational uh, pile-up, so to speak, uh, innovation doesn't happen. If you create an environment where people are empowered to think, to get out of the box, basically, and uh, not uh, and feel like failure, repeated failures, is really a, a culmination to success. Basically, uh, it's, it's a it's a kind of a, a focus on success. Really, is a uh, compilation of a number of failures. And do you take a tack that you, when you hire someone you can teach them to be an innovator? Or do you very much think, you know, I've got to hire people who already are pre-inclined to be innovators? I think if you uh, do this business uh, as, as long as I have, you get the false sense of belief that you can actually pick the innovators from the non-innovators, basically. So, so yes, I mean, 20 some odd years into it, I, I feel like I can go and tell you this person is going to be an innovator or this person is going to be uh, more of a uh, focused, operational, get it done uh, kind of a person. Uh, but it really, I, I think they, they come out of the situation when people's backs are against the wall, they become innovative. They try to get, get themselves out of the jam, basically. It's, not, it's never about somebody lays down and dreams uh, I wish I could actually create the uh, valve that you could put into a patient without cracking their chest open. So it's in some respects, it sounds, I mean, I assume as a, as a venture funder that you probably don't overfund ventures under that guise then? No. No, you don't. You, uh, you do them uh, in, in a very focused way. You do them uh, one by one, serially, basically. And uh, you do them in a way that you would monitor closely whether the opportunity and the idea is actually converging to something of value or not. So uh, of the 12 companies you've started, how many would you deem kind of have been successful in terms of what they originally started out to do? Um, as much as it sounds immodest, and I hate to be that, but all of them have been pretty successful. I mean, we, uh, we take the... Uh, more of a Navy SEAL approach to companies. You never let anyone die in the field, basically. So we, we make them work, we bring teams together, we continue funding them. If they need to reorient themselves in a particular direction, basically, for those teams to be successful, we continue doing it. And how many of those 12 then, if you went in with an original idea, original plan, how many have moved from that, have gone to either plan B or plan C? Or do you, do you stay into the plan A? A number of them have. I think one of the other things uh, I, I would say that is really critical to the, the whole innovation process is having the right set of objectives and goals. We've, uh, we don't start companies to just sell products or sell the companies to somebody else. We start companies to have innovative technologies that are not out there into the marketplace, basically, to uh, save patients, reduce cost of health care. And if it doesn't really meet those requirements, it's not, it's not just a money-making exercise, basically. Yeah, well, it's very interesting. It's, it's yeah. uh, I think, a great lesson to learn. So we appreciate being with us, Fred, and look forward to talking to you more. Thank you.